Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in here from Jacob. Uh, interesting question. We're talking about some older cameras here, some older Canon cameras. He says, hi, I'm going to buy my second camera soon. I want to ask you if the Canon 70D is a good option or should I buy the Canon 60 but with less lenses? Thank you for your attention, Jacob. Well, thanks for your question, Jacob. Interesting. Um, 70D is a great camera, certainly a great camera in his day, superseded by the 80D, and we're expecting the 90D, not that far off. Um, the 60, I'm assuming, you didn't mention the Mark II, so I'm assuming you mean the original 60. And based on the fact that you're looking at a 70D, I think, I think that's what you're doing. Um, I'm not sure when you said second camera what your main gun is. Do you have an 80D? Do you have a 7D Mark II? Do you have a 60 Mark II? That might uh, influence because if you have, for instance, an 80D, a lot of people find it advantageous to have a full frame and a crop sensor camera like the um, 70D or an 80D. Um, so you could have a 60 and a 70D, or if you have a 60 Mark II and a 70D, and they pair well together because of the added reach from the effective field of view with the crop on a, a APS-C body, like the 70D, which is a 1.5, so you put that 1.5 times multiplier on any of your lenses, and you get that added reach. And a lot of people like to shoot with a pair, uh, one APS-C, one full frame. So uh, the other thing is, if you already had, for instance, an existing 70D, do you want to shoot with a pair of the same bodies? That's an advantage too. I always like to have two of the same bodies, especially when I'm shooting pro work, like if I'm shooting a wedding or something, because you switch between the bodies and your brain doesn't have to switch over for controls and things like that. Um, so I guess it just, it depends a lot. Both of the, the cameras, I have no problem with either of those cameras. It would depend on the price. And I would also want to know what you're shooting with at the moment. You know, if you have an M50 and you want to add a 70D as a backup, not a bad deal. If you have an M50 or an 80D and you want to add the 60 as a backup and then you're going to get into full frame, again, gets you into that and then you have one of each. And I, I think that's not a bad deal either. So both of them are not bad cameras and they're good options as a second camera. Granted, uh, you know, with the caveat that you're going to get them at a decent price. I mean, this is, these are older cameras, so you can get them used or refurbed. You could probably pick them up at very good prices. So just watch your price, watch the condition, watch the shutter counts. And I wouldn't have a problem with you buying one. I just want to know what you're shooting with uh, and what your goals are, to ask whether or not which one you're going to go with. Um, is if you don't have a current APS-C, maybe you want to go with the, 60D, uh, the 6D. I mean, if, if you do have a current APS-C. Maybe you have current full frame and you want to add another full frame body. So it just depends. you got to think that through. Um, but yeah, I don't have any problem with that. Um, just watch your pricing because you could get an 80D used or refurb for close to what some people want, to want for used 70Ds. Maybe the same with the 6D Mark II versus a 60, although I think you could pick 60s up pretty inexpensively now. Great camera. Uh, not so much, the original 60, not so much for video, but certainly a great camera for um, portrait work uh, and just photography. Like if I wanted to shoot portraits and I picked the 60 up at a very good price, put an 85 F1.8 on it, I could just use that pair all day and just get beautiful shallow depth of field, great Canon color science, and do some wonderful portrait projects with it. So let's throw it back to our viewers. What would you guys do in this situation? 70D, uh, 60, are they still a good option as a second camera? Uh, what do you think? What, why, well, related to your answer, what would you do and why? And do you have any caveats? Like me, would you want to know what he's existingly shooting with, what he's adding it to? Um, let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Get a rounded out response, some additional input, some more thoughts, things to consider um, when our viewers are trying to make a decision here. Thanks for your question, Jacob. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.